again, Bitcoin's coming down into our first target of 35,056. It's already hit our targets that we talked about at 36,226, but we said we thought it was going to come farther. Ultimately, we're going to come way farther than even this, but we're going to see if we can get a rebound off any of these three spots. But I think 32,662 would be the most logical spot to get a rebound, but 35,056 is the first real area that you could get at top of this uh, down channel that we had broke some time ago. So that's what we're looking at with Bitcoin. Big M, though. Big M. Could pull down at any time. XLM. We're at that 17.31 support. If we break that, we have 16.8. And then if you break that, you've got a... There was one spot in between that came off, but... It was just this area right here at 15.5, roughly. But there's not much in here for XLM. And then you break that, and you come all the way down to here to this 10, 9, 6. You break that, you got one area in between there and 8.1. It's it's not pretty, guys. There's not much here to hold XLM up if it does. Yeah, not much at all. Oh, man, I would love to see XLM back testing these areas. It's not as far-fetched as it used to be. This is literally a 50% drop from here, and we're talking. So, XLM's in some trouble here. If XLM breaks through that potential double bottom of 16.8, look out. Just look out. That means the whole market would shift again down, and that's what we're looking for, but I'm just saying. And DGB, look at that. That's unbelievable. DGB's almost back testing. It's low already. That's how far ahead of XRP it is. It's at 1819. We've got one little wick right here that could stop us. Here, let's pull this up so you guys can see. 1748 is the next little spot. And then you've got in here, clearly in this, again, and then it's really down to 1366, a target we had for a long time. We're playing inside of this little symmetrical wedge. So, and it's been playing within it. So I wanted to just expand it farther over so we could see it. It's incredible what's going on here with DGB. This is, uh... If it breaks down through here, we're talking another probably 15, 20% in a real short amount of time. And then we're going to end up with XDC. Broke outside of its uh, uptrend where we were at over here in the four hourly. And it's about time. I don't even know why that line's way up there. I'm getting rid of it. But it broke out of its uptrend. That was just, if we were on the top side of that, we could have stayed bullish. Bottom side, we're bearish, and obviously, we came right through that. So, now our next support for XDC, it's crazy. 548 is the resistance, and now it's 479. And like I said, there's not much in between the 479 and 548. So, we're working our way right on through here. We got a lot of strong sell volume. We've got the RSI that's kind of in the oversold on the 4-hour. So, we could back test that 5-4. We don't know. How are we looking in the daily time frame? Daily time frame, it's starting to get towards oversold, but still room to come down. It's on the bottom side of that yellow line, which is the resistance line. So, XRP Future Millionaire, make sure that that like button, turn that bell notification on, and subscribe to the channel if you're new or returning. If you're interested in seeing me live, I'm going to be doing a live stream after this uploads. Probably about 12.45 or 1 a.m. my time, and I'll probably be doing a half hour, 45 minutes if you'd like to join. And also, consider joining Tom's Army for $9.99 a month. You get the exclusive telegram. I give you that for free for showing support and believing in me. We currently have 213 members on here. And we have, let's see, 220 members, active members in Tom's Army. So I really appreciate each and every one of you. We had two new members yesterday. And I don't want to say who sent that, but... Thank you so much for the 20 uh, XRP. I don't get XRP sent to me very often at all. I really appreciate that. So I'm going to end you guys with this clip. Oh, and if you guys want to join Tom's Army, I give you this. And we've got 214 members in here. we got 29 people online right now. But it's an, it's an we have the most members we've ever had. And it's a huge, huge growing database of knowledge. Stay blessed, everybody. Hashtag be better, do better. Hashtag butt assassins. And remember... Help one person each and every day because if I don't do my part and you don't do your part, who's going to do their part? In crypto, there is a cycle or a curse every four years. And this echoes with halving in Bitcoin. In 2012, half Bitcoin was released into circulation. 
And in 2013, there was a bull market when the value rose from 20 USD to almost 2,000 USD in 2013. It was a bear market after that. Then, 2016 halving led to the second bull market in October 2017, when Bitcoin valued at almost $20,000. In 2020, the third halving led to the third bear market in 2021, which rose the price of Bitcoin from around 3,000 USD to 70,000 USD. If this cycle continues, we are now at the early stage of a bear market. It is really hard to predict exactly because there are so many factors which can affect market as well, such as geopolitical issues, including war, or recent COVID-19 also affecting the market. Following this cycle, it will be until end of 2024 to the beginning of 2025 that we can welcome the next bull market on Bitcoin.